Pixelated text is a nostalgic way to add flavor to your typography. So let's jump inside Adobe After Effects to learn how to make it. Alright folks, let's start the process by adding our text layers. Here's the first one. And the second one. I'm using a chubby font here, but that's not necessary. Good. I'll make them big enough to see and align them properly. Now let's add an adjustment layer and call it Pixel. Then from the effects panel, search for CC block load and add it to the adjustment layer. Then uncheck start clear if you don't want to have a transition like me. By default, the number of scans is set to 4, which is perfect for my composition. But you can go ahead and try different values until it looks perfectly pixelated. You can also use CC ball action effect to achieve a similar look, but as the name suggests, it doesn't create actual blocks, so I like block load for that. Next, I'm gonna add a grid effect to the layer and set the color to a dark gray, border amount to 2 pixels, and set the blending mode to normal. Set the corners to 8 or 16, and bring down the opacity. Now we have nothing, because we need to set the anchor point to 0. And now we get these nice squares that add to the pixel look. Bring down the opacity a bit more, and done. Now let's add some noise to the scene to make it more vintage. Something like 30. And make sure the color noise is checked. At this point we are essentially done, and you can see what we've made if I turn this on and off. But we can do a few more things to spice it up even more. First let's add a blue background like the old games. Then change the color of the titles accordingly. Something like this. I'll also add a border to the text to make it look like a button. Okay, maybe not rounded, so I'll decrease the roundness from the rectangle path. And bring it under the adjustment layer to have the effects on it. Maybe bring up the opacity of the grid again. And to give it some movement, we can go to the shape layer Add a trim path from here, set the start to 6 or 4, then keyframe the offset to go 2 rounds, and it gives you something like this. You can also bring the border layer to the top, copy the effects from the adjustment layer, then increase the grid border, set the blending mode to stencil alpha, and increase the opacity, which after all gives you a more nostalgic look. And that's it. You can try this pixel effect on many other things to remind people of their childhood, when games weren't more realistic than real life. Anyway, hope you learned something new today. And if you have, let me know in the comments. Good luck!